Hello everyone, welcome back sa aking YouTube channel. I am Teacher CJ and for today's video, ang ituturo ko sa inyo is about problems involving quadratic equations. In this video, you will learn how to read and analyze word problems involving quadratic equations. You will be able to use the appropriate method in solving the problems and follow the procedure in solving real-life problems involving quadratic equations and rational algebraic expressions. Dapat muna nating alamin kung ano-ano ba yung mga terms and definitions na pwede nating may encounter sa pagsosolve ng quadratic equation. So first, dapat alam natin ang quadratic equations in one variable. These are the mathematical sentences of degree 2 that can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Next, dapat alam din natin ang rational algebraic equations. These are mathematical sentences that contain rational algebraic expressions. And lastly, is the solutions or roots of quadratic equations. These are the values of the variables that make quadratic equation true. Let's have example number one. If this number is added to its square, the result is 90. Find the numbers. So, magkaroon muna tayo ng representation ng number na hinahanap dito sa ating problem. So, let x be the number and x square be the square of the number. So, our equation here is x square plus x equals 90. Bakit naging addition ang ating operation? Because of the word added in our example. So, para masolve natin itong problem na to involving quadratic equation, kailangan muna natin i-transform ang ating equation sa kanyang standard form. So, ang standard form ng ating equation na x squared plus x equals 90, itatranspose natin si 90 dito sa kabilang side ng ating equation. So, meron tayong x squared plus x minus 90 equals 0. To solve this, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng factoring. So, mag-iisip tayo ngayon ng dalawang factor ni 90 na kung saan kapag minultiply natin ang sagot ay 90 and kapag pinag-subtract natin ang sagot ay 1. So, those numbers are 10 and 9. So, the factor of x squared plus x minus 90 is x plus 10 times x minus 9 equals 0. So, after we factor the expression dito sa ating side ng equation na ito, kailangan natin gamitan ng zero product property, which is i-equate natin sa zero yung dalawang factor na meron tayo. So, we have x plus 10 equals 0 and x minus 9 equals 0. So, after nyan, isosolve na natin yung linear factors na meron tayo. Let's solve for the x. So, we have here x equals negative 10 and x equals 9. Tinranspose lang natin si positive 10 dito sa kabilang side ng kanyang equation para magkaroon tayo ng negative 10. And tinanspose natin si negative 9 dito sa kabilang side para magkaroon tayo ng positive 9. So, our answer here is negative 10 and 9. So, para malaman natin kung tama ba ang answer natin, kailangan natin i-check gamit dito sa ating equation natin. Kailangan natin i-substitute yung dalawang number para malaman kung tama ba tayo. So, if x equals negative 10, let's substitute here in our equation. We have negative 10 squared plus negative 10 equals 90. We have negative 10 squared 
plus negative 10 equals 90. Negative 10 square is equal to 100 minus 10 equals 90. 100 minus 10 is 90 equals 90. So, satisfied yung isang number natin kapag sinabstitute sa ating equation. How about if x equals 9? Let's substitute again to our equation. We have 9 squared plus 9 equals 90. 9 squared is equal to 81 plus 9 equals 90. 81 plus 9 is 90 equals 90. So, ibig sabihin, our answer is correct. We have the numbers negative 10 and positive 9. So let's have example number 2. The product of two consecutive even integers is 224. Find the integers. So, hanapin muna natin yung mga keyword na pwede natin gamitin sa pagsusolve ng problem na ito. Meron tayo dito unfamiliar words na two consecutive even integers. So, i-define natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng consecutive. Consecutive, ibig sabihin kasunod. Even, it is a even which is the two, four, 6, 8, and so on and so forth. The integers means numbers. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang magkasunod na even numbers ang inahanap. And also, the product. Product means multiplications. So, the problem is the product of two consecutive even integers is 224. Find the integers. So, magkaroon tayo ng representation para sa problem na ito. Let x be the first integer and x plus 2 is the second consecutive even integer. So, our equation here, since product of two consecutive even integers, our operation here is multiplication. So, we have x times x plus 2 equals 224. So, kailangan natin i-distribute si x doon sa term na nasa loob ng ating parenthesis. So, x times x equals x squared. x times 2 is equal to 2x. x squared plus 2x equals 224. Since quadratic equation na ang ating equation here, uh, kailangan na natin i-trans form itong equation na to sa kanyang standard form para ma-solve na natin. So, to transform this equation to its standard form, kailangan natin ilipat si 224 dito sa kabilang side. So, meron tayong x squared plus 2x minus 224 equals 0. Since sobrang laki ng number ng ating constant, pwede natin itong gamitan ng quadratic formula para ma-solve natin or mahanap natin yung dalawang numbers na hinahanap natin dito sa ating problem. Pwede natin gamitan ng quadratic formula. Let's determine first what is the values of A, B, and C. So the values of A is equal to 1, B equals 2, and C is equal to negative 224. So, the formula in our quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2. I-substitute na natin ang value ng a, b, and c sa ating formula. So, meron tayong negative 2 plus minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times negative 224 over 2 times 1. So, let's simplify first yung nasa loob ng radical. So, 2 square is equal to 4 and negative 4 times 1 equals 4 
negative 4 times negative 224 is positive 896. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So we have negative 2 plus minus the square root of 4 plus 896 all over 2. So let's simplify again. Yung nasa loob ng, ng radical. 4 plus 896 equals 900. So we have the square root of 900. The square root of, of 900 is positive and negative 30. So we have negative 2 plus minus 30 over 2. So i-separate na natin yung positive and negative dito. So we have x sub 1 equals negative 2 plus 30 over 2. And x sub 2 equals negative 2 minus 30 over 2. Unahin natin i-simplify si x sub 1. Negative 2 plus 30 equals... Negative 2 plus 30 is equal to 28. Over 2 is 14. X sub 2 equals negative 2 minus 30 equals negative 32. Over... X square is equal to negative... 16. So, the two consecutive even integers is 14 and 16. So, that is our answer. I hope you're learning!